All right, guys, uh, welcome to another beer review. And uh, today we've got a beer from Adnams, and it's one that they've brewed for Marks and Spencers. Which, by the way, I was really surprised at just how big the range of beer is at Marks and Spencers right now. Um, I've been out of England for you know the best part of a year, to be honest. Well, I was, yeah, about nine months, and. Um, I'd only been there once to pick up beer, and they had a somewhat decent range. But I was there a couple of days ago, and just the amount of beers that they've got, and for the price, it's just fantastic to see supermarkets really getting in on that. And um, yeah, I know it's always great to go to a bottle shop and uh, you know buy that way because you're supporting not only like the brewery, but you're also supporting like craft beer in general and that sort of thing. But when they've got good beers for a good price at the supermarket, go for it. And it's a great way to introduce yourself to some great beers. But anyway, um, I've had a couple of the Adnams um, Marks and Spencer beers before. And they've been really good from what I remember. And today is the Sriracha Saison, clocking in at 6%. Uh, now, the Sriracha is a Japanese hop, I think. Now, you have to excuse me, I've got a runny nose. Um... Yeah, the only time I've ever tried the Sriracha up was in, uh, is it Brooklyn Brewery's Sriracha Ace? I always forget if it's Brooklyn or Boston. And I think um, Adnams are the guys here in the UK who distribute their beers. So, um, yeah, it seems like this could be their take on the Sriracha Ace. I'm just, you know, guessing with that one. But um, yeah, absolutely stellar artwork. They're really nice and bold, simple illustration. It's got like a nice cardboard beige sort of background. Nice label on the back, nice and simple. It's got a nice little design on the neck sticker. And then it's just got a silver cap. But it's a nicely presented little beer. And uh, yeah, I'm very intrigued to try this one. Um, even though it's taken me a couple of hours to actually find time to get this reviewed even though it's been out of the fridge for a couple of hours now so it should have settled down to a nice temperature but um yeah i'm really excited about this one um let's see well i can't really remember what i thought of um the sriracha ace because it's been such a long time ago it was at the craft beer festival in regensburg and um yeah i remember it being really good then so hopefully this will be just as good or if not nicer i can't really remember what the hell am I talking about? Just get it sniffed. That's really nice in the neck. It's like... I, I don't know. It's um, It's got like a very slight lager sort of smell. But it's like a nice juicy sort of citrus character as well. It's quite nice in the neck. Let's see what it's like in the glass. And I'm just going to pour it all in. Uh, I'm not sure if this is bottled conditioned or not. Um, I'd imagine it might be due to the style. So, I'll throw that last bit in. The lighting's not the greatest in this, so I can't really see for myself if it is or not. But it's got a nice haze to it. So there it is, all in the glass. And uh, yeah, that's a really nice looking beer. Uh, in terms of colour... Uh, that is hazy as hell, really can't see anything through it, but in terms of colour, it's a nice marmalade if I had it in shot. Marmalade, orange, um, yeah, really reminds me of orange marmalade in terms of colour. Uh, the ever so slight hint of a chalkiness as well. But um, yeah, it looks like a really nice saison, looks really nice in the teku glass, and uh, yeah, let's give it a sniff. And you're getting them. Um, it's mine with like fruit pastels. But not really too strong. It's like got. I don't know. Can you really describe a smell as chewy? It's also something that you could proper chew on, like a gum sweet. Like a jelly tot or something like that. But yeah, I'm getting like a slight yeasty smell, slightly bready smell. A citrus smell. Um, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Whether it's like a lime citrus or a lemon citrus or like some from a tangerine or something like that. Uh, clementine, that sort of 
acidic, sweet, citrus sort of smell. Oh, yeah, it smells like a pack of fruit pastels. It really does. It smells so damn nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. That's that's a strange process going on in your mouth. Let's have another taste. And it's got a really, really nice bitterness right at the end that just comes in and kicks you the shit out of your tonsils. Not in a bad way, of course. I've described that really violently. But yeah, it leaves you with a very strong bitterness. And it like, you want to take another sip. I'm definitely picking up like a lemon, a lime in there. Uh, it's very, very citrusy. Not too sharp. Um, as if you've like squoze and a lemon. Squoze and a lemon? Squeeze the lemon onto your tongue. But you are picking up that lemony, citrusy, limey, uh, orangey sort of flavour in there. Yeah, not too sweet. I'm still getting like the aftermath of a... Like a fruit sweet, like a jelly sweet, sort of like a, a fruit pastel. My mind goes blank every time I do these videos. So I sound like a raging moron when I'm trying to describe the beer. But yeah, nice and fruity. That's a really nice little beer. Uh, that's probably one of the nicest um, saisons that I've had in a long time. Being that it's only my second encounter with the Sirachi hop, um, I can't really pinpoint like the characteristic down. I can't really compare it to uh, other saisons right this moment. Well, this is really nice. It's a lot more bitter than I usually like, but I'm really enjoying it. It's like earthy as well. It's even though it's not too heavy. In terms of you know the mouthfeel and the body, it's got like a little bit of a weight to it. Um, it's not the like most fruity. It's not springy or summery, uh, but you are getting like images of your garden. And uh, yeah, this one is because like you just casually sit sit in the back garden, sup on it as you know lazy Sunday evening comes into play, and it's a uh, perfect for that sort of situation. So yeah, it's really nice. Saison, even though I've hardly described the beer. So I'll quickly read what it says on the back about this beer. This crisp, refreshing beer is brewed with the distinctive Sirachi Ace Hop, giving it zesty lemon and orange notes with intriguing hints of spice. Yeah, they've definitely nailed it right there on the description. Uh, a perfect match for its citrusy, spicy flavour works well with Asian dishes like mussels in a Thai style coconut broth. Uh, yeah, I could definitely see that working with a Chinese. Um, when you've got a takeout, you've got a four pack, you can get a Chinese takeout from Marks and Spencers. You've got the perfect meal deal there with this beer as well. Yeah, it's a really nice um, Saison. And one that I would definitely pick up again, even though bitterness in a beer Sometimes can be a bit too much for me, but even though this is very, very bitter and very sharp on the end, it's really nice because all those other flavours and characteristics work well. And uh, yeah, it's a damn good little beer. So I'm going to give this one uh, an 8 out of 10. So that's Adnam's Sirachi uh, Saison. 8 out of 10. Um, what's it like against the Sirachi Ace from uh, Brooklyn Beer Company? Uh, I can't really tell you because it's been such a long time since I've tried it. But um, yeah, I think this is like almost like a more affordable version of it. So um, if anyone's tried this and the Sirachi Ace, then um, let me know your thoughts and opinions. How does it compare? And uh, what's your favourite beer that uses the Sirachi Ace hop? And what's your favourite Adnams beer? So, um, yeah, that's my review of Adnams Sirachi Saison. Uh, apologies that I've managed to talk for nearly nine minutes and have not really described the beer. But it's a damn good beer and I'd definitely try it again. 
So if you want to find out more about Adnums and this beer, links will be down below, as well as any other Saison beer reviews that I've done. Uh, check out Mondo Scu Mondo Scullido. Check out the Clueless Drinker for more beer reviews. Subscribe, like, share, whatever. Who the hell does that? Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next beer review. Cheers.